Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Caro's host on the ESP32 S2 board um, running 7.55. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Go into our settings, go into our network, go ahead and make sure we do have connect to the internet check. Then we'll go to set up internet connection using Wi Fi. Easy. And we'll select Caro. And for the password, we'll type in 1 to 8. Go ahead and hit R2 for done, and hit OK. Give it a few moments here. Shouldn't take too long. Check in network environment now. There you go, and we're done. So we can go ahead and hit circle for back. And there's two ways to get in. We can go in through the user guide, or we can use the web browser. I do recommend using the web browser first, just so that way you can go in and clear out all the old information that was in there. So we'll delete all there, go into our browser history, clear that as well. And then we'll go into our settings and delete our cookies, and clear our website data. Then we'll go ahead and back completely out, and just go ahead and launch our browser, and it will automatically redirect us. Okay, as you can see it does come up, and this is the Feather S2, the ESP32 S2. Now for the 9.00, it does do an auto mount with the USB, but 7.55 and below, um, it doesn't have that feature. It actually has a more annoying feature, but I'm going to show you. If you're not familiar with 7.55, I will show you what we can do with it. So we'll go ahead and click on 7.55. We'll give it a few moments here to install the cache. It shouldn't take too long at all. As you can see, it does go pretty quick. There's 60, 70 percent, 80 percent, and 100 uh, yeah, percent, we're done. So we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button now. And then we'll go ahead and launch our browser again. Okay, and we'll give it a few moments here. Uh, shouldn't take too long. We shouldn't get too many memory errors. Okay, so there's one. So if you're not familiar with 7.55, um, there's no USB, but you do get memory errors. So be thankful you don't have to deal with this here. There's two memory errors. And it's always random. It could be one memory error or it could be 15. You just got to keep on going until you actually get the jailbreak done. So there's three. There's a four. Okay, and it seems like we are going in now. So we'll give it a few seconds here. It will pop up with a few messages. And then it should tell us the jailbreak is complete and give us our payload so we can launch. Okay, and there we go. So we can go ahead and launch Goal 10 2.1.2, which is the latest version. I'll give that a few moments here just to load. Okay, any moment now it should come. It usually takes a few seconds, but uh, there we go. Waiting for payloads, or waiting for payload. Launching the payload. And goal 10, 2.1.2 loaded. So we can go ahead and launch another payload just to show you that uh, it does work. Go ahead and launch Orbis's toolbox. And the same result, we got to just wait a few moments and it should pop up. There we go, waiting for payload. Launch of the payload. And Orbis's toolbox loaded. So we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button now. As you can see, we do have Orbis's toolbox loaded. We can go to our settings, go up to Gold Hand, we can go ahead and enable our FTP as well as our bin loader server, just to show you that they do work. Um, our Orbis's toolbox is there as well. None of our settings are set up. But uh, go ahead and just enable that. Go into our game overlay. Put this over to the right. This is just the setup I usually go with. And then save settings. Just so that way it loads every time we launch Orbis's toolbox. So if we back out, you can see it does load up everything there. 
Um, I currently don't have any games installed on the 7.55, but I can show you that I am running 7.55 by just going down to System and System Information, and you can see that I am on 7.55. But that's basically it for the video, guys. I just want to jump on, show you a progress of the ESP32 S2 board um, of all the features that we're adding in. Go ahead and just bring that up. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.